welcome back to Mommy's Designs and DIYs. Uh, this morning, I'm gonna teach you how I make my labels. Like I mentioned in my in my video before, I'm gonna do that. And I'm just gonna explain to you how I make my own videos. But before we move on, uh, I wanna thank my daughter who uh, is helping me record this because I would not have been able to do it by myself. And also, if you can please like and share, and if you can please subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate that. It means a lot to me. Okay, so let's move on to teach you how to, how to uh, make them. The number one thing that I always use, it's I use a, um, the label sheet eight and a half by 11, always. Otherwise, if you make different sizes like I do, like I made these kind of labels for my uh, shower gels and for my oils, and then I make these tags to put in some of my items and then I make uh, like these sizes for my bath bombs. So you see like the different sizes I make. I make these little labels that say, thank you. And then I make another wrong ones to uh, have the ingredients that my bath bombs have. So I make a lot of different sizes. And for me, it's been easier to get the eight and a half by 11s. And what I do is I either use my cutter something simple that I usually use like when uh, it's low at the store, I print them and I cut them as I'm sitting here watching a movie or something. And then I have all these different ones that I have uh, purchased. There are different sizes, yeah, depending on what you need. So these last a long time. I have a, you know, quite a few ones. So the program that we're gonna be using today is Avery.com. So, we're gonna go to the uh, to my computer. We are not going to create anything. I'm just basically gonna show you so the video is not so, so long. I'm gonna show you something that I already have in my file. So see, I already have it there. So we go to that. If you do not have an account with it, most people does not have it. You can go ahead and, and register and set up a, a an account and have your own profile. There are two ways that you can do it. One way is that you can uh, pick a label, you can create a label, and you can have them printed for you and send it over to you. They have uh, 3,000 or more uh, combinations. They have a flat rate of $3 or free shipping uh, over 50. I do my own. So, I'm just going to go really quick to my projects. You have a, you can save all your projects in, 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 the, in the computer. You have your own profile and everything. So for instance, I, um, let's open this one. This is a cute one. This one, once you have, once you already created in there, you can also change the size and modify it, modify it to the size. But we're going to go ahead and open this one. And it's really quick. Once you create it, you can download pictures, you can download uh, text, any text. You can main, make uh, your uh, text rounded like this. For instance, this is the uh, 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 Avery product 22A28. So if I, if I wanna change the template, I just go here, right here, change template. And then if I want a round template, I just go ahead and type round and I choose whichever size I want. Like, let's say I want that. I select that. And then I select the template and see it's gonna change from, it was a rectangular, it changed to a round. So from there I just modify and I fix everything. And then when you print, Okay, here's another thing that I really love about this program is that when you have edit all, that means that every single label that you make is gonna look the same. If you go edit one, you can have each label say something completely different. So you can customize like this is uh, 12 labels. You can make 12 different labels in just one page. So that's really awesome. You don't have to have a full page of labels if you only need two or three, okay? 
So let's say, well, I still do, I want, I want uh, the whole page uh, say the same thing. So once we already have the, the design here, here's where you can do uh, add text. This is the curved text, uh, easy text. There's, these are all the different fonts they have. See how many they have. Okay, this is the, the size of the font. Okay, this is if you want it bold. And they have the color. If you want to change the color of your of your text, you can do so many things with this program. And the program is free, so why not have it, right? So then uh, once you have your, your uh, design already prepared, you're going to um, you're going to say you want to print preview and print okay so you go down here and you click on that okay then you must say that you want to get the PDF the PDF to print so you click on that they strongly suggest that you save it especially because I I had a rectangular I and I want to I don't want to lose that one. I want to save this one into maybe uh, lavender, it's for lavender oils. Oops. And then I'm going to put a circle. Okay. And then, so the other one is still in the system, but I'm saving this one. Okay. So then once it says that your product has been saved, you go, okay. And then it's going to, this is going to pop up. So you just go open PDF, there it is, open. And then you go into wherever it is that I have an iMac, but whatever it is that you printed this at, you click print. Okay, there are two kinds of printers you can use. You can use the, the regular printers, uh, which is I have in this Epson, that the pictures come, come out like um, very simple. I, I really don't like the, the finish of them, but you can, you can, um, you can use what I'm going to be using is the HP MB, which is a laser printer. So any laser printer, the quality and the colors of your labels are going to come out very, very nice. So I'm not going to print this because I don't want to make the the, um, the video to be so super long. But see, this is how they will look depending on the size that you want. So once you click print, you can, you're can you going to put your, your 8 and a half by 11. The printing part, it needs to be uh, upside down. You're going to put it in your printer and then you're going to click print and it's going to print. Okay. And then once it prints, you can easily either use any size of, of your cutters or you can use this one, okay? For example, if you want a square that is one and a half by one and a half, you just look for a label that is one and a half by one and a half printer and you can use then your print your uh, cutter. So um, I think that's all for me. I don't know if I sh should I add anything else. What do you think, Cassie? No, I think you covered everything. Okay. So once it's already printed, you can close this again. And it's going to take you back to, to the page where you were. You can choose another template. You can choose another design. Uh, and you can change everything around. Okay. Like I said, you can either print it from home or you can have them printed for you. So you guys, that's it for, for me. I hope this video helps you a lot, not only to uh, make things easier for you, but to save some money. I found these uh, by the hundred on Amazon. On the link below the video, I'm gonna write down where I got it. And I'm gonna put the link to, uh, to Amazon so you can get them, but um, they come in a pack of a hundred. So again, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate, I appreciate you taking the time to click on my videos. And again, please, if you can like, share, and subscribe, uh, pass it along. And again, God bless you today and every day. And thank you so much. Norma with Mommy's Designs.